Hello and welcome to another character introduction video where we learn more about a certain character and their hidden potential. We will talk about their skills, crystal strength passive artifacts, and my own personal pros and cons. Today's video will be featuring Quistis, Babylon's instructor. Quistis is a melee debuffer from Final Fantasy VIII. She does one thing and that one thing extremely well, enemy speed manipulation. She uses a new weapon type, whips, which are quite rare as only one other character in the future will also use it. Start farming yellow crystals to level her crystal passives. Currently she is recruitable in the event Babylon's Whiplash. If you miss this event, you will later be able to recruit her when her lost chapter is released. Her 35 CP weapon, Red Scorpion, and 35 CP armor, Quistis' glasses, are exclusive to her. Her 15 CP Chain Whip can only be equipped by other whip users. Her first skill is Laser Whip, which deals a one-hit melee brave attack at the potency of 120%. It will also inflict a turn rate down debuff to the target enemy for two turns. If you have her 15 CP weapon or passive equipped, the potency is increased by 60% and lowers the action delay. She also grants herself an attack up 1 buff at 20% for 6 turns. Her brave attack will become a brave attack plus for 6 turns which has increased damage and low action delay. Her second skill is Degenerator Whip, which is a 1 hit melee brave attack at a potency of 90% followed by an HP attack. The enemy target is then delayed for one turn, meaning their turn order is pushed back by one. If you have a 35 CP weapon or passive equipped, the potency is increased by 40% and adds one additional use. The enemy target is then delayed an extra two turns for a total of three turns. Finally, the enemy target is inflicted with a speed down one debuff for three turns. Let's talk about Quistis' Crystal Strength passives. Currently capping at level 50, I've listed the passives from highest recommended to the least recommended. Her unique level 50 passive, Instructor's Discipline, slightly raises the party's max bravery for 2 turns, after inflating a debuff. The buffs are invisible so they will stack with other visible buffs. It's not a big game changer, but since her laser whip ability is her primary damage dealer, She'll be able to debuff often. This passive will help a bit for her party's damage output. We want her Mighty and Charge passives to increase her damage output. After that, Degenerator Whip attack up increases attack by 10% after using Degenerator Whip for one turn. Not a huge difference, but it's something. Debuff Initiative can help since her goal is to debuff the enemy constantly. Brave Danger attack up will usually activate after using an HP attack. Speed Critical Hit for the speed buff after every critical hit, and Break Brave Up after breaking an enemy for a 10% increase to your max bravery, which is situational since any three of your characters will do the breaking. Next, let's talk about Christus's artifacts. First, we have Debuff Guard Up, which increases defense power by 5 or 10% while the enemy is debuffed. Break Brave Up, which raises max bravery by 2 or 5% after breaking an enemy. Mighty Laser Whip, which raises brave damage dealt by 5 or 10%. And finally, Mighty Degenerator Whip, which increases brave damage dealt by 5 or 10%. Since her attack stat and her ability potencies are pretty low, I would actually recommend getting the attack plus 108 or the Mighty passives to try and patch up her attack at least let allow her to do some damage. So overall, Christus is a pretty niche character. She's able to continuously delay turns and prevent the enemy from acting. With a full kit dedicated to slowing the enemy, she's the only character that can delay enemy turns so effectively. Boss battles that have only one enemy will be better for Christus as targeting multiple enemies will be a bit difficult with her limited uses of the generator whip and having to juggle between each enemy to delay. If used right, she can definitely make certain boss battles a lot easier, especially naturally slow enemies or enemies that require a lot of setup to deal damage. A fun team idea you can try out is Setzer, Quistus, and Yishtola. As all three of them have a delay skill, you can take turns delaying the enemy, spread out bravery with Yishtola, and freeze the enemy with Setzer so that even if the enemy has a turn, their brave will be set to zero. If you have the resources, definitely try it out. 
Now, unfortunately, Christus's attack stat and potencies are quite low. She won't be able to brave shave much and needs help from artifacts to patch up her attack stat. She shines in single target enemies compared to multiple enemies, as being able to unload all of her ability uses on one enemy is much more effective than spreading them out to multiple enemies. This is all due to the Generator Whip's somewhat low ability usage. She is also a character that requires a bit more planning and predicting comparing to other spam characters, where you just use one skill over and over again. Knowing when to delay the enemy will be crucial in mastering Christus. Overall, Christus has one job, and she does that one job well. She doesn't fill much of the other roles, but if you can fit her into your team composition, she'll definitely do well. She's also best paired with other support characters that can give her buffs and other fast characters in order to take advantage of her speed manipulation, as the more she slows down the enemy and the faster your allies is, the more turns you're, you're gonna get. She's a lot of fun to use and once she gets her EX weapon and awakening, she'll be even better. And that's the end of Christus' character introduction. Thank you guys so much for watching, and this is something that I really wanted to do for each of the characters that are coming out. And I do really hope that this is something that can help out the Dissidia community as well. So if you enjoyed this video or found it useful, please leave a like as it'll really help me out. Um, leave some comments with feedback on the comment section below and subscribe for more content. As a creator, I do promise you guys that each one of my videos will be even better than the last. And with that being said, my name is Adam Mill and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!